Welcome to our channel where we delve into the fascinating stories of history's most influential figures. Today, we're about to embark on a journey into the life of one of the most powerful men of the 19th century, John Pierpont Morgan. But before we dive into his intriguing story, here's a quick reminder. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Now let's set the stage for the era that gave rise to a man who would leave an indelible mark on the world's financial landscape. The 19th century, a time of rapid change and progress across the globe. It was an era that shimmered with potential, an age where the world as we know it was being forged in the crucible of innovation and revolution. From the rise of industrialization to the throes of political upheaval, the 19th century was a time when the familiar gave way to the new, an age where the horse and cart would be replaced by the steam engine, where the quill would be replaced by the typewriter, and where the old world would give way to the new. Economically, the world was on the brink of a seismic shift. The Industrial Revolution had sparked a boom in manufacturing, leading to unprecedented economic growth. Cities began to swell with the influx of workers seeking employment in the burgeoning industries. The stage was set for a new kind of power, the power of capital. Politically, it was a time of great reform. The French Revolution had ignited a spark that would spread across the globe, challenging the old order and heralding the birth of modern democracy. The United States, a young nation, was finding its feet on the world stage, grappling with the contentious issues of slavery and state rights. Amidst this backdrop of change and tumult, society was being reshaped. The old aristocracies were being challenged by a rising middle class, empowered by the transformative power of industry and commerce. The social fabric was being rewoven, creating new opportunities for those with the ambition and acumen to seize them. In this transformative era, one man was about to make his mark. John Pierpont Morgan, born into a world on the cusp of the modern era, he would rise to become one of the most influential figures of his time. But who was this man? And how did he come to wield such power? As we delve into the life of J.P. Morgan, we'll uncover the story of a man who not only shaped his own destiny, but also that of the world around him. Born into a wealthy family in 1837, John Pierpont Morgan was destined for greatness. His father, Junius Spencer Morgan, was a prosperous financier who ensured young John received a top-tier education. From the esteemed English high school in Boston to the University of Göttingen in Germany, John's academic journey was steeped in privilege and rigor. However, it was not just education that shaped this young man's destiny. His father's business acumen and societal connections provided a doorway into the world of finance. At the tender age of 20, John's professional journey began at Duncan, Sherman & Company, a banking firm in New York City. This was the first step in a journey that would see him ascend the echelons of American finance. Learning the ropes of banking and finance, John began to understand the power of money and how it could shape the world. These experiences laid the groundwork for Morgan's future as a powerful financier. J.P. Morgan didn't just climb the financial ladder, he practically built it. Now let's dive into the early stages of Morgan's career where he was yet to become the financial titan we know him as today. As a young man, Morgan was introduced to the world of finance through his father's banking company, Junius Spencer Morgan & Company. This was a pivotal moment in his life marking the start of his journey to the top of the financial world. Morgan's early career was marked by his unyielding drive and a keen eye for profitable ventures. In the bustling financial district of New York, he quickly learned the ropes, proving himself to be a shrewd and capable businessman. His ability to navigate the complex and often turbulent world of finance was not just impressive, it was extraordinary. He didn't just work in his father's banking company, he transformed it. Under his guidance, the company flourished, expanding its reach across the globe. He was instrumental in establishing the company as a formidable player in the international banking scene. Morgan's rise to prominence wasn't just about financial acumen. It was about vision, ambition, and a relentless drive to succeed. He saw opportunities where others saw risk and he seized them with both hands. His actions were bold, 
His decisions were decisive, and his impact on the world of finance was monumental. His entry into his father's banking company was merely the first rung on the ladder. From there, he ascended rapidly, his influence growing with each successful venture. By the time of his father's passing, Morgan had not only inherited his father's company, but also his reputation as a respected and influential figure in the banking world. His journey up the financial ladder was not without its challenges. Yet, with each hurdle, Morgan rose to the occasion, demonstrating not just his financial prowess, but also his resilience and determination. In the face of adversity, he remained steadfast, his eyes firmly set on the top. Morgan was fast becoming a force to be reckoned with in the world of finance. And as we will see, his ascent was just the beginning. For JP Morgan, consolidation was not just a strategy, but a weapon. In the late 19th century, as America was building its industrial capacity, industries such as railroads and steel were fragmented, with many small companies competing against each other. This was where Morgan saw an opportunity. He believed the key to stability and prosperity was not competition, but consolidation. His vision was simple, yet revolutionary. He saw the potential of combining these small, struggling businesses into powerful trusts and monopolies. These consolidated companies could then dominate their respective industries, setting prices and controlling market share. First, he turned his attention to railroads. At the time, many of these companies were on the brink of bankruptcy, unable to compete effectively. Morgan swooped in, buying up these failing companies, merging them into larger entities. He effectively transformed the railroad industry, making it more efficient and profitable. Next, he set his sights on the steel industry. In the early 20th century, he orchestrated the merger of several major steel companies to form the United States Steel Corporation. This was more than just a business deal. It was a move that created the first billion dollar corporation in the world, a testament to the power of consolidation. But Morgan's influence didn't stop there. His consolidations extended to other industries as well, including electricity and telecommunications. His approach, though controversial, was undeniably effective. He was a master at identifying struggling businesses, consolidating them, and turning them into profitable ventures. His tactics, however, were not without controversy. Critics accused him of creating monopolies that stifled competition and exploited consumers. Yet, his supporters argued that his consolidations brought much needed stability and efficiency to these industries. Through these consolidations, Morgan wielded immense power. He didn't just control companies, he controlled entire industries. And with this control, he was able to shape the American economy in ways few others could. Morgan was not just a banker, he was a kingmaker. He used consolidation as a weapon, carving out an empire that would leave an indelible mark on the American industrial landscape. His story serves as a reminder of the transformative power of consolidation in business and the potential it holds for creating lasting legacies. In 1907, America's financial system was on the brink of collapse. The financial landscape was a ticking time bomb with speculative bubbles and shaky investments threatening to implode. As the cracks began to show, panic spread across the nation like wildfire, leading to a wave of bank runs and a severe credit crunch. In the midst of this financial turmoil, one man emerged from the shadows ready to take the reins, John Pierpont Morgan, or as we know him, J.P. Morgan. With a keen understanding of the financial markets and a reputation that commanded respect, he was uniquely positioned to orchestrate a response to the crisis. He started by injecting his personal wealth into the banking system, a move that not only bolstered the banks, but also restored some much needed confidence in the financial markets. But Morgan wasn't done. He then gathered a group of fellow financiers and convinced them to do the same. With their combined resources, they managed to stabilize the banking system and stem the tide of panic. But Morgan didn't stop at saving the banks. He also brokered a deal with the U.S. Treasury to secure a loan of gold, effectively backstopping the economy. This move was both bold and controversial, but it worked. The financial system stabilized, the panic subsided, and the economy slowly began to recover. Yet, the 1907 financial crisis did more than just showcase Morgan's financial acumen. It also exposed the flaws in America's financial system, a system that, until then, had been largely unregulated. Morgan's role in the crisis, while undoubtedly crucial, 
also sparked a debate about the concentration of financial power in the hands of a few. Morgan was a savior during a time of crisis, but his actions also sparked a debate. A debate about the role of big finance in the economy, about the need for regulation, and about the balance of power. With great power comes great controversy, and J.P. Morgan was no stranger to this. John Pierpont Morgan, a titan in the world of finance, was no stranger to controversy. His vast wealth and influence over the American economy were viewed with a mix of admiration, fear, and resentment. He was often criticized for his monopolistic practices, which many believed stifled competition and led to economic inequality. One of the most significant controversies surrounding Morgan was his role in the formation of U.S. Steel, the world's first billion-dollar corporation. In the early 20th century, Morgan orchestrated the merger of several major steel companies to create this behemoth. While this move revolutionized the American steel industry, it also raised concerns about the concentration of economic power in the hands of a few. Morgan's influence extended beyond industry. He had significant sway over the American government's financial decisions, which some saw as a dangerous conflation of private and public interests. During the Panic of 1907, Morgan practically became a one-man central bank, injecting his own money into the economy to stabilize it. While this move was hailed by some as heroic, others viewed it as an alarming display of the power he wielded over the nation's financial system. His substantial art collection was another source of controversy. While he was lauded for his taste and patronage, critics argued that his acquisitive tendencies were a display of ostentatious wealth, contributing to a culture of materialism and excess. These controversies, however, must be viewed in context. Morgan lived in an era of unfettered capitalism, where monopolies were commonplace and wealth was concentrated in the hands of a select few. His actions, while controversial, were not uncommon for the time. These controversies brought J.P. Morgan under scrutiny, but they also underscored his influence. His legacy is one of immense power and influence, a testament to a man who, for better or worse, shaped the American economy in ways few others have. As the 19th century drew to a close, so did the life of J.P. Morgan. His final years were marked by an increased interest in philanthropy. He became a benefactor of art and culture, amassing a vast collection of art, books, and manuscripts that he later donated to the public. This philanthropy extended to education, health, and public services, demonstrating a commitment to giving back to the community that had given him so much. However, Morgan's health began to deteriorate. Despite his failing health, he continued to work, demonstrating the same grit and determination that had defined his career. In March of 1913, at the age of 75, J.P. Morgan passed away in Rome, Italy. His death marked the end of an era but the impact of his life's work was far from over. While J.P. Morgan's life ended, his legacy was just beginning. J.P. Morgan's influence didn't end with his death. A powerful statement to begin, yet it barely scrapes the surface of the legacy left behind by this titan of the financial world. His actions, decisions, and strategies during his lifetime not only shaped the American economy, but also set the course for the modern financial industry. J.P. Morgan, a man of the 19th century, was a pivotal figure in the development of America's industrial prowess. He consolidated various industries, from steel to electricity, under a single umbrella, creating powerful corporations that drove America's economic growth. This strategy of consolidation, once a novel concept, is now a cornerstone of modern business practice, a testament to Morgan's foresight and business acumen. But the impact of Morgan's legacy extends beyond the realm of business strategy. His approach to banking and finance laid the groundwork for the financial sector we know today. He was instrumental in the creation of a centralized banking system, a concept that was revolutionary in his time. Today, this system is a fundamental aspect of economies worldwide. It was Morgan who championed the idea that banks should serve as stabilizing forces in the economy. His intervention during the financial crisis of 1907 demonstrated the significant role that banks could play in averting economic disasters. This event led to the creation of the Federal Reserve, America's central banking system, further solidifying Morgan's influence on the financial industry. Moreover, the banking empire that Morgan built 
continues to wield significant influence today. His company, J.P. Morgan & Company, is now part of J.P. Morgan Chase, one of the largest and most powerful financial institutions in the world. The strategies and principles that Morgan employed continue to guide the bank's operations, reflecting his enduring influence. Yet, Morgan's legacy isn't without controversy. His approach to business, while innovative and successful, often drew criticism for its ruthlessness and its contribution to the concentration of wealth. It's a debate that continues today as we grapple with the challenges of income inequality and the role of corporations in society. However, regardless of one's perspective on his methods, there's no denying the impact of J.P. Morgan on the world of finance. His legacy is woven into the fabric of our economy, influencing the way we do business, the way we manage our finances, and even the way we perceive the role of wealth in society. In conclusion, the legacy of J.P. Morgan is a story of innovation, influence, and power. It's a story about a man who saw the future of finance before it unfolded, who shaped an industry, and whose impact continues to resonate today. J.P. Morgan, a man of the 19th century, still shapes the world of finance today. His influence is a testament to the enduring power of vision, strategy, and relentless pursuit of success. So what can we take away from the life of J.P. Morgan? John Pierpont Morgan, a man whose life was as complex as the era in which he thrived, teaches us that ambition, when coupled with unyielding determination, can change the course of a nation. From the consolidation of the railroads to the stabilization of the American economy during the Panic of 1907, Morgan's story is a testament to the power of individual will and the potential of financial acumen. His successes speak volumes about the importance of vision in entrepreneurship. Morgan saw potential where others saw chaos. He harnessed the power of consolidation, transforming a fragmented industry into a unified powerhouse that propelled America into the age of industrialization. He was not just a businessman, he was a visionary who shaped the future. Yet his life was not without controversy. His methods, often seen as ruthless, were criticized by many. He was accused of creating monopolies, manipulating the economy for personal gain, and disregarding the welfare of the common man. This darker side of his legacy serves as a reminder that power, unchecked, can lead to moral ambiguities. It teaches us the importance of ethical considerations in business and the need for checks and balances in our economic systems. Morgan's lasting impact, however, cannot be denied. His contributions to the American economy were monumental. His belief in the potential of American industry, his bold investments, and his financial genius laid the groundwork for modern corporate America. His influence extends beyond the realm of finance, touching the fields of art, culture, and philanthropy. In reflecting on J.P. Morgan, we see a man who was more than his successes and controversies. He was a figure of immense influence, a catalyst for change, and an embodiment of the entrepreneurial spirit of the 19th century. He was a man who, through his actions and decisions, left an indelible mark on American history. J.P. Morgan was more than a financier. He was a man who owned America. J.P. Morgan, a man of his time, yet timeless. A tycoon who shaped an era, his life was a testament to the power of ambition and the pursuit of consolidation. From his early years to his ascent up the ladder of success, Morgan's story is one of relentless determination. His influence was such that even the 1907 financial crisis became a testament to his prowess, as he single-handedly saved the American economy from collapse. Controversies? Sure, there were a few. Yet the man's impact on the financial world and his contributions during his final years cannot be ignored. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy, that lives on. We see it in the financial institutions that stand tall today in the economic principles we adhere to, and in the spirit of entrepreneurship that continues to drive America forward. As we journey through the 21st century, we carry with us the legacy of J.P. Morgan, a legacy that continues to shape America.